tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate automatically a certificate file from Google Sheets using AppScript. And not just that, this certificate file will be emailed to the participant as a PDF file instantly. I think this tutorial is very useful and practical. Let's see. Before begin, here's what you need. A Google Sheet with participant information. A Google Doc certificate template using placeholders like this. A Google Drive folder to store the certificates and app script to automate this process. First, let's set up our Google Sheet. It should include the following columns. Name, email, course, date, and status. Now I add some samples. For a status column, I should type send. When the email has been sent to the participant, it will automatically change to sent. OK, the Google Sheets is ready. The next step is creating a new Google Docs file that will serve as your certificate template. To do this, you should go to your Google Drive, then create new doc. I was created a simple template that you can find the link in the description and design the certificate as you wish. Add logos, background images, or signatures to make it look great. But you should notice that use placeholders in double recovery braces where custom text should go, like this. Now we need to create a folder in Google Drive. Certificates will be stored in this folder after they have been sent. Go to your Google Drive, click on New, then New Folder. Name it Certificates. Alright, is everything ready for the next step? Creating the app script. So in the sheet, go to the extension tab, then app script. Now delete any existing code. Okay, now we need a code which generate a copy of the certificate for each person, replace the placeholders with real data, export it as PDF, and at the end, email it as an attachment. Ok, I'll type the code and explain it to you. You can find the link to the code, sheet, and the certificate template in the description. Ok, this is the code. In line 1 to 5, the code accesses the sheet, template, and target folder. Sheet 1 is the name of your sheet tab. You can rename sheet 1 to match the actual tab name in your spreadsheet. For template ID, you should replace the ID of your Google Docs certificate template. So I copy the ID and paste it in the right place. Next, folder ID. You should add the ID of the Google Drive, where generated certificates will be stored. So I copy the ID of the folder that I created before and paste it here. The next step is a for loop, that for each person, this loop copies a certificate template, inserts the person's name, course, and date, and saves it as a custom certificate file. And at the end, the file will save as PDF and send via email automatically. Ok, the code is ready. I click on save icon and copy the function name. Now I go to the sheet. It's time to create a button for sending email. Here's how to add a button. In your Google Sheet, go to Insert, Drawing. Click on the Shape tool. Choose the shape like a button. Change the colors as your desired and add the label Send Certificates. Save and place it on the sheet. Now collect the three dots on the shape and select Sign Script. Now you should paste the function name here. Now in your sheet, for any row you want to send a certificate, just write Send in column E. 
click your send certificate button and it will generate the certificate, email it to the person and mark the row as sent. So I click on the send button. As you can see, the status column changed to sent. Now I check my email and this is the certificate. You can change the subject title and the email content with editing the code. Now I add a new row. Again, I click on send button. As you can see, the new certificate created. Okay, you learned how to create a certificate file automatically from your Google Sheet using AppScript. The coding part was so easy, but you can find a link to this sheet, template, and also the code in the description and in our website. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial that will improve your skills in Google Sheets. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments and I will answer all of them. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.